Hi. I'd like to just share with you a little bit about the St. Francis Pledge. But first, let us just call on the spirit of Francis, Lord Ketumi. Let us ask him to speak to our hearts as we quietly reflect and pray. St. Francis, the eco-warrior who came to us in the 12th century as a great messenger and friend of all faiths, you have shown us a simpler way to God by embracing the natural world, the Franciscan soul of simplicity, integrity and compassion. And we ask you now in these turbulent days where so many have become impoverished in their soul that you speak to us and help us understand what you mean by taking the Pledge of St. Francis. Thank you. All across the United States of America and Canada and the civilized world, Catholics, Christians and members of interfaith groups are taking the St. Francis Pledge to care for creation and the poor and joining the Catholic Climate Covenant. They are one voice of power. And in light of this, we, the members and friends of the Teo community of interfaith Franciscans, committed to following the path of Francis, we have agreed in our heart to spread the word to members of all faiths and none here in the United Kingdom, in Europe, in Ireland, and throughout the world. And the St. Francis Pledge is a promise, and yes, it's a commitment by all faiths, individuals, families, churches, parishes, mosques, synagogues, temples of worship, organizations, as well as institutions, to live our faith by protecting God's creation and advocating on behalf of people in poverty who face the harshest impacts of global climate change. To join the covenant, you commit to act on each of the five elements contained in the pledge of St. Francis from St. Francis. And now let us look at the St. Francis Pledge. And this is what we do. As a member of the Teo community of interfaith Franciscans, I pledge to pray and reflect on the duty to care for God's creation and protect the poor and the vulnerable. Pledge two. I pledge to learn about and educate others on the causes and moral dimensions of climate change. And pledge three, I pledge to assess how we as individuals and in our families and in our communities, parishes and other affiliations contribute to climate change by our own energy use consumption, waste, etc. And the fourth pledge, I agree to act to change our choices, my choices, my behaviour, to reduce the ways I contribute to climate change. And finally, the fifth pledge, I advocate for interfaith principles and priorities in climate change, discussions and decisions, especially as they impact upon those who are poor and vulnerable in our society. So today we need you to take this pledge, not to convert to Catholicism, to Buddhism, 
to Islam, Judaism or any faith, we ask you to take the pledge as a child of God, a child of the Abrahamic faith community, a child of the interfaith network, to show that you are acting responsibly and responsively to the cry from God through Francis to protect this beautiful gift that God has given to us, this earth, this landscape, and all that it contains. And the reason why I feel comfortable in sharing this with you is because I live this, not in my head, but in my heart, in how I recycle all the household waste, yes, I recycle it. And there's a blessing for having hens because I usually end up giving the hens the household waste that's been cooked and added with their food. Even the eggshells that my neighbors bring, they're dried, they're crushed and added to their food to give them calcium. And other wastes are put in the wormery and the breakdown of that, we end up with a beautiful juice, the byproduct of that process, that we feed to our plants. Cardboard, plastics, tin, metal, everything we recycle. Yes, it takes a little bit of effort, but once you get into a cycle, <clears throat> a mindset, it becomes second nature. But I think the time has come where you and I have to take responsibility for global warming because we have abused the earth, haven't we? The big conglomerates, their interest really is their shareholders. I'm not a shareholder in principle, but if I were, I would want to put this pledge at the top of the agenda. And when I look at the devastation in the Gulf caused by the BP leak from the oil well and the devastation on Mother Earth, on the seabed, to water, to life, the animal kingdom have paid the price for this, as well as other human beings who depend on that part of the Gulf for their livelihood through fishing. And it's so easy to say I'm sorry. In the first place, we have to take responsibility for our greed because we are accountable to God as stewards of this earth because the earth was a gift given to us not to own or control or abuse but to use in order to enhance our spiritual journey. I am so privileged to live here in this beautiful part of the South Lakes, the ancient Celtic kingdom of Reged where the energy is awesome. Never mind Atlantis, here we are blessed with all the sacred stone circles. There are many of them, but yet light workers have been brought here and I think it's to hold the light for 2012. But coming back to St. Francis and his pledge, St. Francis is an eco-spiritual warrior still his spirit, his essence, his truth, his love comes through us. Those of us who have pledged our life to God through him by walking in his footsteps, by adopting his simplicity, his integrity, his values. Why not you today? Come and join us. Take the five pledges to pray to learn, to assess, to act, and to advocate for interfaith principles and priorities in climate change discussions and decisions, especially as they impact those who are poor and vulnerable. And on behalf of Francis, the members of our community, we thank you. Pray for us.